welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hello, welcome, so happy to have you. Today's video is definitely gonna be a special one. If you didn't know, I recently celebrated my birthday. This video is kind of belated, but I just turned 24. That is so hard for me to believe. I recently accepted the fact that I'm a late bloomer in life. Now that I'm 24, it feels like I'm turning 18 all over again. Today, I want to show you guys a little bit of what I got this year for my birthday. This birthday was very low key compared to my birthday last year. I really didn't have any expectations. I think that's the best way to approach it because then you kind of get surprised with a lot of different things. Definitely had an amazing birthday. I spent most of the day at home just chilling out. My mom made me a delicious homemade breakfast. I did my makeup, watched my favorite show, King of the Hill, and I took some pictures. If you're interested, you can check those out on my Instagram. I will put that right down here. Later that night, we went to the North Carolina Chinese Lantern Festival. I never had done anything like that before. So it was really just fun looking at all the lights and seeing all the different performances. After that, we went to just a really chill dinner at a local Mexican restaurant called Cancun. I had the most delicious blue coconut margarita. Towards the end of my dinner, the whole staff made my birthday so special. They sang to me, they put me in this huge sombrero. The servers put whipped cream on my nose and on my chin. I was so buzzed. I was just having the time of my life. My mom and I had plans to go to, up to Wilmington this past weekend. However, my mom unexpectedly fell under the weather, so we had to postpone these plans. So I was looking forward to going up to the beach and continuing to celebrate. We'll celebrate that when we are able to, so I'm not worried about any of it. If you would like to see what I got for my birthday this year, then keep on watching. I'm not doing this in any particular order, but one of the first things I got for my birthday this year was this really, really cute water bottle. This is from the brand Simple Modern, and the style is a 32 ounce Summit. This is a beautiful baby pink color, and I ended up getting this from my Nana and Pop. I really love this color. It's so beautiful. I had no idea this was even in existence until one day I was talking to one of my girlfriends who was one of my coworkers I met when I was in Florida and she had this really cute water bottle it was like purple with like iridescent glitter. I asked her where she got it and she told me about this website, showed me some of the different products and I was like I need this right away. I did need a new stainless steel water bottle because the one I had before from Costco was pretty beat up. I am always trying to find ways to be more sustainable and eco-friendly, so I wanna start ditching my use of plastic water bottles and switch to this eventually. This particular gift I got for myself, my mom and I were out driving around town one day and we went into this local crystal shop called Zensiety. They had such a huge variety of crystals and stones and especially jewelry. So as soon as I saw this particular bracelet, I knew I had to have it. This particular stone I don't have at all. This is the white halite. And when I was looking into the healing properties, it's supposed to be really good for reducing anxiety which is something I've desperately needed lately. Also, I love this cute bag they put my bracelet in. Just wearing this will definitely help center me and keep me calm for the times that I need it. This was a great way to treat myself there and of course support a local business. And another thing I got for my birthday this year was this really, really beautiful dress. It's this beautiful, like dark, teal kind of tiffany blue color it has these gorgeous flutter sleeves this is from another local business called muckley creek boutique my mom and i also stopped in there one day when we were out and about checking it out for the first time 
this one in particular was one that really caught my eye. So it was kind of a coincidence that my mom thought about me wearing this dress and loving it. And then I saw that one literally the same exact style. This particular birthday, I've been really blessed with all different types of new shoes. This pair I, that I got for myself is a pair I picked out from Kohl's. This is from the brand Madden Girl. As soon as I saw these in the store, I was immediately obsessed. I got these beautiful black patent leather platform heels. They are in the style Omega. As soon as I tried these on, I was tripping out because I don't really wear heels all the time either, especially like these which are so tall. But as soon as I tried them on in the store, I'm not kidding when I tell you, I literally felt like a model walking in these shoes. They made me feel so confident, so sexy, so beautiful. The heels I just showed were ones that I thought I was gonna wear this past weekend. Considering how cold it's been, it's probably better just to have something like closed toed. I had a pair similar to that last year when a lot of my shoes were covered in mold. I had to get rid of those specific boots that I wore on my birthday last year. So when, <laughs> when my grandma found out, she was so eager to replace them for me. So these next boots are from my grandparents. These are the Gianni B. Me Get Real. So here are what the boots look like. They are so freaking gorgeous. There are these such soft material, zipper on the side, and a little tie on the back. Like I can wear these with so many different types of outfits. I don't really know if this next gift is a birthday or Christmas present, but I'm just calling it my birthday present because why not? The last pair of shoes that I got for my birthday were some much needed snow boots. These are from Columbia. I absolutely love these black boots. They have this kind of like quilted material on the sides, some gray fur lining on top. Yeah, I have worn them already, so don't mind that. They are really comfortable and soft, but of course with any sh new shoe, you gotta break them in. So I'm still trying to get my feet used to them. They are really, really cute and they're perfect, especially for right now because my mom and I have been doing a lot of hiking. The next thing I got for my birthday, this is a beautiful flower arrangement that my mom gave me. It was really, really sweet of her to get me this. There are some really beautiful like purple roses, some carnations dipped in pink and white. There's these really beautiful purple flowers as well. I don't know what they're called, but they kind of remind me of some blue bonnets. If you happen to know, let me know in the comments. There's also some little accent pieces here and there, some eucalyptus leaves. These glitter branches are everything. They're so cute. And so my mom left this card in my arrangement. It says, enjoy 24, love mom. So these are really, really beautiful. And I just love looking at them because not only did she do that, but she bought me one of the most amazing cakes that I love from Nothing Bunt Cakes. The one that my mom bought me from Nothing Bunt was just a white chocolate raspberry cake but it also came with this beautiful peony cake topper. It was so crazy to me because I had this exact same cake topper for my 18th birthday cake. I also saw that my mom use the exact same gold sparkler candles that she used for my 18th birthday. Okay, so, so here's a quick comparison of my 18th birthday cake to the cake I had this year. The only major difference between these two is that my 18th birthday had red velvet and this year was white chocolate raspberry. It came full circle for me because I was like, gosh, I feel like I am turning 18 all over again. I had two cakes because not only did I have that one, but my uh, step grandma, who also happens to be my roommate right now, she was so nice and made me a delicious homemade cheesecake. 
Cheesecake has been kind of a hit or miss dessert for me in the past, but just trying hers, it was probably one of the best cheesecakes I've ever had. And it was so sweet of her to make the effort to do that because I know that she doesn't really cook anymore. So the fact that she took the time and did a small thing like that to make my birthday special really meant a lot to me. My next birthday gift is also from my step grandma. It was so interesting because when I was talking to her a couple days before my birthday, she told me that she really doesn't give gifts to her grandkids after they turn 21. I didn't really expect anything from her. So with that in mind, I got these really gorgeous abalone dangle earrings. They are so, so beautiful. They have this like iridescent glow. I don't have any earrings like these and I just think they're so unique and so me. The next birthday gift I got was from my dad and stepmom. A couple weeks ago when I was talking to my dad on the phone, he was asking me if I had any like warm clothes just for like, you know, just for the season. I told him I was starting to build a couple pieces in my wardrobe, but I did need some stuff. He totally surprised me and got me this gift card to Cabela's. It's for $50. He wrote on this note on the back of the card that says, use this to get yourself some warm clothes you need for winter in North Carolina. It was so cool of my dad to remember that. Lines. I don't have this gift physically to show, but I did get a check from them as well for $900. That was designed to go towards buying my new laptop. It was a definitely a much needed thing because I desperately needed a new one. Not only that, but also just to have one for school. I had laptops before that, but the last one I had went out of warranty and I could no longer reuse it. So for a while I was renting a laptop from school to use for my classes. So just having one for myself is gonna be so amazing. I ended up buying a MacBook Air and I am really excited to try it out and see how it works. For me. Next set of gifts are also more gifts that I treated myself to because why not treat yourself? I recently had a birthday reward at Victoria's Secret, so I treated myself to quite a few new things. The first one being a new bra, which I actually haven't bought a new bra for myself in almost two years. Around the time I had my surgery, I needed a new push-up and it's black and I don't have any black regular bras. That's what I'm wearing right now. This is all like I'm gonna show you guys, but it is really cute super soft super comfortable and it just lifts and supports the girls in such a great way i also saw that they had a panty sale i got the sale for five for 30 on underwear and then i also got a really good deal on my bra I did have a 30 percent off sale but since i am a key angel card holder i ended up getting it for 40 percent off which was an amazing deal so i decided to treat myself once more and get myself some more comfortable underwear. I have been opting lately to not wear panties as much. Sometimes the materials can be really uncomfortable for me. I got myself a black pair of panties. I also got this really cute no-show thong. I actually love this shade of pink. You can see it's kind of this dusty rose, but it's one of my favorite shades of pink. And I hope one day, when I get married, I would love to incorporate this specific shade of pink as part of my wedding theme. I think it's really beautiful and flattering and I just love this soft material, like just the no-show panties or everything. So I got another pair, like the pink ones, but in a bright red. And I just thought, I normally don't wear this shade of red, but I just thought it would be such a beautiful, like, color and flattering and just make me feel sexy so definitely need more of that in my life um without further ado and then i got another pair of the panties these are the string bikinis uh, i love this shade of like dark green 
these are like I love this style of underwear because like, the string it just I don't know makes you feel comfortable but sexy at the same time and I also got the style in this berry red color my next set of gifts have kind of a theme. A lot of these are Pura Vida items. If you didn't know, I am a brand rep for Pura Vida and I have my own code. So if you want to shop any of these items, you can go right ahead and use my code Hayden Newhouse 20. Again, that's Hayden Newhouse 20 for 20% off all orders. So let's get into it. A couple of weeks before my birthday, my grandma called me and asked me about my code on Pure Vita, I told her, and then I let her know that about the Black Friday sale that was going on. I totally treated myself. It was really cool because when I was talking to my grandma, she allowed me to just pick whatever I wanted on the site because I told her I let, like I saw a bunch of stuff that caught my eye. <laughs> the first thing I got from Pure Vita was the Stop and Smell the Roses bracelet. As you can see, it is a gorgeous shade of pink. They have like all different strands of pink strings, like all different shades. My favorite color is pink. As soon as I saw this on the website, I had to have this bracelet. The next thing I got from Pure Vita was, this is actually my first string inklet from them. This is the Daybreak inklet. It has all of my favorite colors practically. It has some pink, some white, purple, this turquoise blue so so beautiful and I got this because although I do have an inklet from Pure Vita from them already it's more like that chain inklet so this is my first string inklet I usually wear the chain inklet on my left foot and then I was thinking about wearing this one on my right foot the next Pure Vita item I got was this gorgeous mulberry bracelet um, as you can see here it is a beautiful like mixture of all different types of shades of like berry and purple and pink. It's just so gorgeous on. With my order, they sent me these really cute stickers. This one is just a bunch of flowers and it says, oh, and it says Pura Vida on the top. And then the other one is says, enjoy the ride and has this beautiful like Tiffany blue beach cruiser with some flowers in here, I think. A couple things I got for myself from Pura Vida is this gorgeous black velvet choker. As soon as I saw this on the site, I had to have it because I love a good choker, especially like a good black velvet one, because you can wear it with so many different things. However, when I was trying it on, I was trying to fasten it and then the, one of the chains broke which was so disappointing because I hadn't even worn it yet. And so I still have to get it fixed. Another thing I got myself from Pura Vida, these are the engraved stone butterfly earrings. As you can see here, it looks like it's rose quartz, but clearly not. It's this beautiful baby pink stone with like engraved like details for the wings um, on little silver hoops. It was interesting because when I tried these on, they were a lot smaller than I was expecting because I like wearing a big earring nowadays just to have it stand out, especially with my big ass hair. Um, but I love these so much. Uh, they have a ring that I want to get next that goes perfectly with these earrings. I actually got this ring. I don't have it here right now because I've been wearing it a lot lately and I accidentally misplaced it, which is not like me. So I'm manifesting, I find it soon. Called the sunshine ring. It's this beautiful silver ring on, and it has a sun on there with a new moonstone in the middle. Last jewelry piece I got from Pura Vida for my birthday were these really gorgeous rose gold earrings. These are the La Costa gemstone waterfall earrings. They're really, really pretty. I got, there's like two different styles. There's a silver one and then the rose gold one. I got the rose gold one, obviously. So these are rose gold with clear quartz. I just love the length of these. And then I also treated myself to a couple of the clothing items that Pura Vita has. The first one being this beautiful 
white long sleeve shirt. It's kind of cropped here on the bottom, just kind of like frayed a little bit. It has this gorgeous like 70s like retro style. So it has a pure Vita on the front and just like different rainbow pastel text. And then on the side of the shirt, it has a beautiful rainbow wave detail. Last thing I got myself from Pura Vida was this beautiful black hoodie, pullover style. And it it's kind of this, looks kind of like a faded black. It is a little bit more snug than I thought. And I did get an XL but I think it's just the way it's made is supposed to be a little bit more fitted and I was expecting more of an oversized vibe but it still fits. It says Pura Vida on the front of course and it has this beautiful like design where it has blue, yellow, and purple kind of like fading across so this is another great piece to just throw on. And of course I did need a new hoodie. So about three months ago, I was staying with my boyfriend at the time and his family. I stayed at their house for like a week or so. Kind of treated it like a vacation in a way. So when I was taking a shower one night in their main bathroom, I saw that they had this lotion. And as soon as I tried it, I was immediately obsessed with the scent. So this is the Hemp's buttercream birthday cake lotion even though it's not my birthday anymore like who doesn't want a small like birthday cake year-round I, I know I do and this was from my grandparents and the last thing I got for my birthday was just kind of a small random thing but I did get this beautiful good luck hanging accent. When my mom and I went to the Chinese Lantern Festival, there's a little gift shop, you know, just on the, the corner of the event. And they had the vendors had like so many different types of like Chinese gifts and just little trinkets and stuff like that. And so when I saw this one and all of them were like different colors, I was like, I was immediately drawn to this one, not only because pink is my favorite color, but if you can look closely, there is a lotus flower, I believe, in this sphere. I don't know the whole significance behind this, but I know that it is supposed to represent good luck. And I definitely need that in my life, in, well, in all areas of my life. So my mom decided to treat me to this um, just to have a little souvenir from the event. And I'm so happy she did because I absolutely love it. So yeah, that is everything I got for my birthday this year. I could not have asked for a better birthday, even though some things didn't line up according to my original plan, I still had a really, a really great celebration. I also wanted to thank everyone who sent me birthday wishes, whether that was through text, Instagram, DM, or comments on my post or just in real life. Thank you so, so much for making my birthday so special. You guys mean so much to me and I'm so grateful to have you along this journey of mine called life, especially as I go through another year around the sun and fully embrace being 24. I have no doubt that 24 is gonna be an amazing year for me. I'm excited to see what's all it's gonna be in store. So with that said, that wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And if you're new, please make sure you subscribe. It's a great way to keep up with not only my content, but also be a part of the Sassy Squad. It's completely free to join as well. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear feedback. And if you'd like to stay up to date with my content, make sure you hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And until next time, stay sassy.